some materials scientists are dreaming of transforming cheap plastic bags into valuable stuff. That kind of alchemy is what's cooking here. Chief wizard in charge is Vilas Pol. What are you, some kind of James Bond villain? So, uh, do you want to cook your plastic? Oh, boy do I. All day I've been saying, I want to cook my plastic. So let's do that. Now, my mom always told me you don't put plastic bags in the fire because it releases poisonous chemicals. And that's true. If you just heated the plastic on the stove, carbon-based chemicals like benzene could get into the air, creating a cancer risk. But Vilas has created a thermoplastic reactor, a closed system that uses extreme heat to break down the chemical bonds and transform the resulting carbon into a valuable material. The recipe is simple. Cut many plastic bags of any color into small pieces. OK. You're like the environmental Martha Stewart here. Put the pieces into the reactor, add a pinch of cobalt acetate. You, you want to try not to spill? Set the temperature to 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit. Insert the reactor. Throw the switch. And cook for three hours. OK, so three hours have elapsed. And we're going to take a look at what you've cooked up. OK. It looks a lot like black powder. But Vilas has another name for it, carbon nanotubes. Nanotubes are 1 50,000th the thickness of a human hair, conduct electricity 10 times more readily than many metals, and store five times as much energy. That led Vilas to find a really practical application for his plastic bag formulated nanotubes, batteries. He coats very thin slices of copper with the former plastic bag material, adds lithium, and layers them with plastic spacers. My experience with this is limited to like ham, Swiss, and turkey. You'll, you'll have to forgive me. OK. He squeezes it all into a little case. And when we test it, OK, so he touches it. Yeah, $2.89. It's a oh, deal. That is a voltage. That's the voltage. OK. But Vilas isn't stopping here with these little power cells. He's already producing rechargeable lithium batteries for cell phones. He calls this process, transforming wasteful plastic bags into valuable batteries, upcycling. He could be ready within the next year to go into large scale production. Not only could upcycling help solve the plastic waste problem, it could also make someone a fortune. Won't you be the guy who becomes the billionaire? Uh, hopefully me and you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about the investments later. But while upcycling may be a giant mind shift toward cleaner stuff, it's just one small step toward a zero-waste world. 